Billboard codes are very commonplace. You see them on uh, signs, banners, you see them on advertisements. So you can access the emergency sign. The keyboard means a quick response, meaning you can simply scan with your phone and uh, uh, you have direct access to that sign. It's just one example. Okay, the way you do it, you place your phone, you can put on your phone's camera, aim it at the, uh, at the QR code, wait till it displays a, a button, and uh, you press and tap that button, and you have direct access to the site. All there is to that. What if you have a personal website where you want to put a QR code for so others can access your app, and access your site, maybe a social media page, or in my case, it's a, uh, it's a YouTube channel. People I have to have a YouTube channel or ask what it is, the name of it. Problem is they have to get, get on you have to get on YouTube and you have to type in the name and you Barbara's music and more to uh, get on it. Whereas some people may not want trouble doing that. So, so if they have a if I have a QR code, they just show them this code and then they scan it and press so they have access to my to my uh, channel. It's just all there is to it. So in this channel I'm gonna show you how to get your own uh, QR code and make it easy on your own computer. Cost. And about the only cost of the is just the cost of having it printed in it. And the cost of getting a self seal lemonade and choose to do it. To seal it in, then you can put it inside one inside the wallet, shirt pocket, and then pull it out to show it so people can scan it and access your uh, site or channel or your own personal website. That's what this video is about. We're going to get to it. This is my YouTube page, channel page. It's titled Bart Brooks Music and More. It's also the home page if you want uh, new people, non subscribers, to uh, view first. So, to generate a QR code for it, we'll click the uh, right side button on the mouse. A menu shows up, and you see a selection called Create QR Code for this page. We'll go ahead and click on that, and there's the uh, QR code for uh, my uh, desired uh, uh, YouTube channel page. So we'll next thing is we'll down, click this to download button. We can close uh, close that uh, code image, and then go to the uh, file explorer. And then on the right side, you see a selection called uh, downloads. We'll click on that, and there is the. Uh, uh, downloaded a QR code. So I'm going to move this to another folder. So we'll uh, cut and go to uh, see uh, there's a folder I have set up for it. QR code. And we'll go ahead and paste it there. Okay. Notice I have also added a uh, a uh, photographic image, which the purpose for that image, it will serve as a uh, background size reference when we uh, set up the code to for making it ready for print. So we'll open this with a uh, uh, paint, open with paint down here, and we're going to overlay the uh, QR code image on top of this Im top of this file. So what I'll do is move it near the bottom. Now, okay, go ahead and double click on that, and there it is. It's overlaid. And we want to. Uh, I want this code to appear uh, two inches wide, so that when I print it out, it'll be small enough to put inside my wallet. So uh, I'm going to print the picture as a four by six, as four inches. You know, wide, six, six inches tall from top to bottom. So I want to uh, resize this image using these uh, using these adjustment uh, corners to narrow it down to about a two inch about a two inch uh, wide. That's that's about right. So it's about two inches compared to the four inches width of the image. Another thing I want to do is I want to drag it to the center. And at the bottom, and then we'll go ahead and uh, save that. Okay, here we want to uh, create a uh, 
a text code that will appear on the top of the QR code like I've shown here, visit and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mark Brooks Music and more. And so we'll do that by uh, clicking on the, uh, the text, a, a large A, that is a text icon, and here we're going to draw a, a, a rectangle using the mouse, point and drag, generating a you see a dotted line for a dotted line. We want to select opaque because we want this white. We want this. We don't want to see through. Transparent, you see through it. Opaque, you don't. Color one, that's your text color. And background color two, that's a background color. We want black for our text and uh, white for the background. And I'm selected uh, Times New Roman font. So we'll start with a low size font, just size 10. We, we can increase the size later. Is it? And subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Oh, wait a minute. Start a new line. YouTube channel. Colon, next line, and then in uh, double quotes, the name of my channel, Mark Brooks, Music, Ambersand, and more, and then double quote to finish that, and now we can uh, adjust the font size, drag the whole entire text, and increase the uh, Font size, we'll try 12, that's not big enough, a little larger. That's about right, that's a size 16 font, so that's about, that's about the size we want, so we can uh, adjust, the, uh, uh, adjust the size of that white triangle so, it's, so it's, it's, it's the same width as the white area of the QR code. You want the lower edge uh, slightly overlapping, and then with the upper edge of the uh, text Rectangle will narrow down until the uh, bottom bottom text line shows at the bottom. So that's, that's as far down as we can go. We'll now we'll uh, uh, unselect that, and we'll go ahead and save that. N now it's ready for print. We'll exit the uh, paint, and there we are. I completed you know printable picture with the uh, QR code on it. And what I'm going to do next is uh, is to copy this uh, image onto a uh, flash drive. We'll go ahead and plug that in. And then we'll uh, we'll copy this to uh, copy to the you want to copy this to the, flat, the USB drive. I have a uh, this is a USB drive uh, Main folder. Here I have a folder called YouTube. That's where I will put. That's where I will. Uh, so it's called close up, but I'll rename it to uh, QR code. Q code. There we are. Okay. okay now the next step is to take it to a photo center, which like Walmart or Walgreens, I'll be going to Walgreens. That'll be the next step is to put in my put in the order for to have these uh, codes printed out. So we'll uh, see you at Walgreens. Right now I'm at the Walgreens Photo Center. I've got the uh, uh, QR code photo stored on a flash drive. Go ahead and select prints. And here, here it is. What we want to print. So, let's see, I'm at four by six. And let's see, four by six, and I want. I'm going to do uh, five copies. Okay, and that's it. Add to cart. And that's, and that's it, just and then check out. Here are my phone number. Five, seven, five, seven, six, 
zero six two nine two. Correct name. Mm -hmm. Processing order. Okay, remove my flash drive. Okay, thanks for my order, and uh, you'll be ready in about 30 minutes. Okay, been back from Walgreens, had the uh, photo prints printed so I could, uh, to, to the size I needed, to where when you cut it down, it'll, it'll fit into a into a wallet. So our next step is, is to, uh, with the scissors, uh, cut, 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 it, cut the, uh, uh, the white part out. We'll do that next. That's, it'll take a little while. Now how I've cut the uh, white part out, white part out. Our next step is to uh, laminate it using a self seal laminating pouch. These uh, these have two sides to them. One side clear. One side has an adhesive backing. You have to you have to peel this off. Set the uh, printed code in the middle of it. Peel off this adhesive backing, and then we'll and we'll uh, put on the uh, adhesive side. And also, I want to uh, with the scissors uh, cut a border around here. I'll leave about a, a quarter inch border. We'll do that next. Now it's laminated. You can see the uh, lamination left with a quarter inch border. It's ready to use. Small enough to where I can keep it inside a wallet. And of course, pull it out and use it when I need to show it to someone. Just that simple. So, well, hope you found this uh, video in interesting and informative so you can do your own. And of course, the expense of uh, printing the pictures and laminating, that's very minor expense, but maybe you Couple of couple of dollars. That's that's about the only expense you'll encounter. Whereas generating code is on your computer entirely free. So thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.